After this game, I'm gonna check whether I actually own any gates. Oh, hey. Starkly, presumably playing that creep. Sort of half aggro, half burn list. Oh, this is pretty interesting. This is good because it kills Abyssal Juggernauts, and my opponent will have them, and like oozes and stuff. Blaze Hounds, too. Um, this is good because it's big. This is good because it cantrips. Big is probably better than cantripping on turn one. Um, but I can go this into this. My opponent will get to ping punish it. Um, but I think they only run two punish and demonic lord is not much to it. Uh, and I also still have the option of rebuking because this doesn't really care too much about that. Although after the rebuke this does die to a ping. If this sticks I want to play this. I think I just replaced the rage binder, uh, the metallurgist because this is... Oh no I can play both of these on turn one. Of course I can. Let's just keep this entire hand. Maybe Actually maybe the rebuke is greedy here. But yeah this is just such a good opening. Who's? Yeah. Okay, so this is going to hit the Rage Binder, obviously. Um, it's one in three that the Creep Tile goes under the Rage Binder, in which case my opponent can hit it. If that happens, it's still traded with the Use, which is fine. Um, am I replacing this? I should replace something. This kills my own minions, but they're probably going to die, and then my opponent will play stuff. Maybe I can just replace this. Although it is quite exciting with Gigaloth. Get to draw two cards. I like drawing two cards. I can ship this. Ooh. Uh, I think this play is still better. Uh, I'll take the center with it. So, one in three that my opponent gets to kill it easily. Good. Um, yeah, that's nice. Props to her for not conceding. Yeah, they, they stuck it out till the end. 10 1 Metallurgist into Binder is still brokenly good. I know, right? I don't think I've ever actually gotten to make this play, but wow, that is really strong. Yeah, sure. I might Lava Lance that just to shut down some of the creep generation. That does basically nothing. Um, yeah, we can do Gigaloth plus Lava Lance. Jamming Gigaloth on a tile. Um, that's a really good draw. Oh, I can use Lava Slasher on this instead of Gigaloth. Is that worth it? It baits Punish. Um, I can hide this, come forward, attack my opponent, jam this, killing this. It'll be a 4-5, so it doesn't die to attack, so they can ping and then attack it, which clears the room for Gigaloth. Um... I'm wondering if I can block off monotiles as well. I don't think I can. I can block off this one, but not this one. The lava slash of there, and then no, that doesn't work either. Um, I do kind of like the Gigaloth Lava Lance play. If my opponent has punished, though, it's easily punished. Um, whereas Lava Slasher is like. This is punish bait anyway. So I'll kill this, and you can go like here, I guess, to contest anything that gets played on the monotile. This dies to ping, so I might just plow it in anyway. No, because then I kind of want to force her to use the ping so that she can't ping the giggle off and punish it. Oh, maybe that's bad. Knocking a charge off the Spectral Blade is probably still worth it. Although this way she actually has to use removal on the Lava Slasher. Or, because she can't hit and ping it if she's pinged this. So it does pressure her a bit. Uh, I, say, I, I say I'm pretty sure Starkly is a guy given the, the profile picture on Discord, but... Um, right, so... 
Ping is down, which means Gigaloth is safe from the card punish. Uh, and I can make an egg as well, which is lovely. I can make Ooze walk into Lava Slasher and hopefully not hit the egg. And I have Timekeeper for the following turn, so I should protect this. Uh, I can replace that, I think. I guess I can lava I can lava lance this as well as because then I can hit face with lava slasher that seems much better. Maybe I should hit face with both. Do I just play Gigaloth here? Like, come down, go here, attack, attack. This just trades with lava slasher. Okay, fine. Um, uh, is that good? I mean, I can make it hit the Gigaloth, I guess, but then it dies too easily. I want to protect it from Punish. But I probably should get rid of this Spectral Blade. If I leave the Monotile up, I can do this next turn, which is very good. So yeah, that seems strong. So how about I just play Big G, let's say, here. Um, this backs off. We attack, attack. I may as well play an egg. Uh, oh no, wait, my opponent can hit it there. That was a mistake. I should have saved it. Oh, oh well. <laughs> That's also not unlikely to happen. Uh, so my opponent now has to move away from Gigaloth, I guess. Maybe I should have played it there. Although it has the same problem. No, because if it's here, my opponent... Like can't actually move out of its range. They have to body block where it still gets attacked. But then forcing my opponent to stay out of range of a 7-7. Like, they might not play around it for a turn, because obviously... Oh yeah, I have the Timekeeper surprise factor. They don't know I have Timekeeper necessarily. And like, playing these two and drawing a card and spawning some dudes is still really strong. Alright, play something aggressively. Come on. Play a creature here. You know you want to. Boring. Um, I could just play both the architects, <laughs> like, and pass. No need for timekeeper. I guess ping punish comes online then. But then ping punish kills the seven seven anyway, so I may as well save my timekeeper, uh, or in fact replace it if I'm like these are all coming off next turn anyway. Another Lava Lance. Is it worth Lava Lancing this? Like, I can play a T2K on here, or I can just play them both aggressively and use them to clear next turn. I might do this. And I can back off, because I need to protect my life total. Um, that seems fine. So, I fill my hand here. Hopefully we find, like, a Rescue Rex and another Timekeeper, because I need to not die at some point. I also need to win the game before Obliterate comes down. Although at the moment it's only four. Pushing here is risky. That was very bold. Of Starkly. What if this deck wants to play, like, um, Repulsive Beast? Because your opponent can avoid the Gigaloth. But then if you play Repulsive Beast, you can punt something into range of it and get value. Plus then you play a 3 mana 5-5 five five on top of that that, like, kills their creature. Oh, wow. Is that just for the hell of it? Shadow Nova. It's going to be a big juggernaut. Ping in the desert. Makes sense. Play around egg morph, etc. Right. Oh, they stack! I forgot about that. Holy crap. Ooh, that heals me. That's good. Um, 
Right. Second Gigaloth, Rage Binder. Rage Binder. Seems decent. Um, I'll just take this monotile myself and stay out of the way. I need to worry about Night Fiend as well. How much can I worry about Night Fiend? It does only deal 2 damage. So it doesn't actually kill that much. And I want to block my opponent in as much as possible. Oh, this only affects the first golem, doesn't it? Ping is down, so I can afford to play a Ripper here. And we just hope to top deck Timekeeper. <laughs> Damn. Hey, Icicle. Thanks for joining. Wild Makuta appears. I do indeed. I wouldn't say I'm that much of a wild person, though. Fairly tame as all things go. <laughs> Alright, so my opponent has to remove this. Um, they don't have Punish available. They can do Night Fiend Punish. Um, following turn, they obliterate. And they can... Well, they have nine tiles. So this will be able to... They'll be able to obliterate and punch this. So I need to rip Timekeeper, basically. If I rip Timekeeper, I'm... I think that's just lethal. Is that a demonic lure? So they can come and kill the egg. Makes sense. Munch, okay. Putting themselves out of reach of Gigaloth. Attack, punish. Another munch. Fair enough. That seems very good. Probably good enough to win in the game. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, what if I drew third Gigaloth? That wouldn't be, even be good. I could play more healing and I could play Rescue RX, which is nice. That's also quite nice. Just another body. Like, I guess playing into Obliterate too much is rough. I shouldn't do that. I should leave something back to bait. I guess having like multiple rage binders, like she can't ping them all. So if I play all these rebirth minions around my opponent, that makes the obliterate super awkward. Because they can only kill one of them. I don't think Starkly runs anything you'd want to rebuke. Um They've got or oh, last I checked, there's um Oh, uh, what you call it? Juggernauts in the list. Play around Night Fiend with this. Um, this can go here. This goes here, healing me. Gigaloth's just gonna have to step on a creep tile, unfortunately, uh, in order to do anything. And I think we just pass. Oh, now you show up, Timekeeper. Damn it. Right, so this kind of forces the issue on Obliterate. I still get two minions back. And I end up up on cards. Thanks to these T2Ks drawing me a pile of cards. Right. Right, where were we? <laughs> um, yeah, let's ship this. More war beasts, that sounds good. I'm just going to take the opportunity to get in for damage. My opponent can only ping once. Um, and I have a lot of dudes that demand pinging. I guess here, like, ping this. Night Fiend. Or, like, attack this. Ping the egg. Night Fiend is pretty good. I can still... That still doesn't really hurt me, though, because, like... The second Warbeast comes down, this comes in, 
Probably I come in at that point. Yeah, so here's Night Fiend. I should have played around that actually. Although, no, it works the same either way. Void Pulse. Yeah, they're, they're. No, they're not out of cards, but they're low on cards at this point. Can they do 8 damage out of hand? Probably not. Uh, do I need this Timekeeper? I certainly don't need this. Sweet. Uh, probably want to do this. No, I need this to go here. What am I talking about? Pow! Uh, let's put Hulk like here. Blocking me off. This is going to get him for damage. Here's another egg. Feeling pretty safe here. Let's go. Canto Jesus. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here's our Lord and, Lord and Savior. Our adorable Savior. I guess they can attack that and ping the other one. So I didn't really get anything from... Well, I I'll take it. Three damage, right? Three damage on Lay Race. Good. So this... Timekeeper doesn't spawn this. I get this either way, though. Oh god, double Desolator. That's rough. Oh, that actually... No, it doesn't give my opponent lethal next turn because of this. Um... But only just. They're pretty low on cards. So this this will bring in the Hulk for the for the kill. I could go. I could just play these two and hold on to the Timekeeper. I don't think there's much point in killing the Desolator. So especially not with a removal spell. Okay, this is good. This way I can heal for five more next turn if my opponent. Decides to not die. Uh, so we'll... Send the Mechantor in. Uh, send this in. Should probably play around Night Fiend with the Spelljammer. Does it matter? I think I'd rather have it just be able to pressure full stop. And you can go here. So, Dezo Dezo Void Pulse doesn't kill me. Thanks to the tireless efforts of Rescue RX here. The Blitterate obviously doesn't kill me. I think killing the Dezo was worth it to force him to be in range of bio. Um, not sure what you mean. I think I'd much rather have the other card. I want to block the corner. Um, yeah, okay. I mean, they can... No, that's a good point. That's a good point, actually. Yeah, playing the Spelljammer there. Forcing them to stand here. No, that, that's a good point. Yeah, whereas I don't have lethal here as a result. Oh, well, I probably... No, because I can ping this. Yeah, yeah. No, you're absolutely right. That would have been good. I mean, maybe I'll just rip third Mechanzo like a boss, it's fine. Blade. Blade's fine too. Oh no! The missed place. Okay, so this is fine. The uh, Ripper gets in there for lethal. Oh no, it's desert. Um. I mean, there's a lot of timekeepers. Hello! <laughs> well, that sets up lethal. And no mistake. 
Um, right. Do I just let this Ripper die on the spikes to get rid of Spectral Blade? Have you messed with Rally Reliquary and Hulk together? I have not. Um, Gigaloth kind of does the same thing in one card. <clears throat> Though, so I, I guess this, there's definitely some similarity. Oh no, what am I doing? Oh, I meant to play that first. I got distracted by chat. No! <laughs> uh, I'm such an idiot. It's fine. Um, let's just play it anyway. We'll go, you here, you here, um, we'll trade the Ripper in, I think, and then probably leave this up. There is something funny about seeing Rippers hiding behind buildings, maybe that's just me. No, it's cute, isn't it? They're like, I'm sneaky, I'm sneaky. Ordering, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> it's, no, it's true, like, I play a lot, I play a lot better when I'm not streaming. Um, like it's very easy to get yourself, you you get caught in like loops of thought more because you you're sort of you've got a train of thought and then you get distracted thinking about something else because you're interacting with people. It's not that any of you misled me or anything. It's not like you told me to make the mistake. It was just like I was focusing on multiple things at once. All right, so that's getting punished. Interesting lack of res oh, I guess no oh, yeah. Interesting lack of needing to ping this ripper. They have blood tier alchemist. Blood tier in this list. Oh, sure. Yeah. That seems good. Man, if I had Night Fiend, they'd be dead now. I'm so dumb. I guess I use this. <laughs> I don't think I even bother playing this Ripper. Just gives them more creep targets. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to go face there. Alright, War Beast. War Beast's good. Oh. So bad. Funny you gave up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, they had the removal as well. Oh. Actually losing the game to that. That sucks. Got no pressure left now as well. Oh. Oh, that's really disappointing. Uh. Should have won that. Like 100% intended to make the play that won the game there. So sad. <laughs>